Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I just parked so I could start the vlog, but I'm about to get a Starbucks for me and a friend, and we're gonna go watch the guys practice. They have like a open practice today. Dylan coaches for Vanderbilt football, if you guys are new and they go and they practice. They do like spring ball scrimmages, I guess, on Saturday. They go like off site, like off campus to a high school because all their facilities are being renovated. So that's what's up this morning. I wasn't gonna vlog at all. I had no reason really to vlog. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a weekend in my life and maybe even like drag it out for a few days, but just pick up the camera, get some everyday content for you guys. Um, I feel like I like to watch videos the best when people are like in their routine and sharing their at a home life opposed to all these like crazy travel things. I know I've kind of been all over like Florida. We were in LA for a little bit. So I wanted to just do some good old home vlogs. Let me know if you guys like that or honestly what you guys want to see. I know vlogs are the thing that you guys want to see but I want to start doing more like sit down videos I know I keep saying this but I want to do a sit down like spring summer haul I've been getting a lot of good pieces and I've been shopping for like my Europe trip this summer and I have a really fun other trip this summer with a few girls so I think that that'll be fun um, and I can include all the outfits and stuff for that but I just kind of want to make sure I get all the things together and round it up before I sit down and do that. Um, there's also Coachella coming up, which is really exciting. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm actually going to be going to Coachella because honestly, it's not my favorite thing, um, but I am going to Revolve Festival um, with Lily and I'm really excited. We are, I'm flying out to Arizona and then we are going to drive into Palm Springs together and we're staying. Um, at the Revolve Hotel again this year, which I think will be really fun. I'm excited to hang out with some of the girls, see new faces, meet new people. Lily and I always have just like the best time together, so I'm excited to see her. Honestly, I love Coachella and festival season for the outfits. I feel like some people are there for the music and some people are there for the outfits. I'm definitely there for the outfits unless it's something like Stagecoach where I'm there singing front row, like know all the country music but when it comes to the Coachella lineup I'm not really too intrigued by it um, but I know Revolve Festival always has like special guests and like special performers and I'm hoping that it's someone good Lily keeps saying that it's gonna be Justin Bieber I just simply don't think it's gonna be but I want it to be so we'll see fingers crossed for that anyways we're gonna go through the drive-through and then we're gonna go watch Dylan practice it's a nice day it's kind of windy though but it's pretty nice so Welcome to the vlog, you guys. Bought the coffees. My go-to order has been just two shots of espresso over ice with cold foam. It's not as sweet and it's really good. And then Leslie, I got her a cold brew. So here we are off to practice. <laughs> just got shaved hi baby I just did a sculpt society at home workout I've been loving their at home workouts and every time I leave the mat out Rue like lays on it like it's hers and then we went on a walk and I've been picking up I'm trying to get everything off of this table so I have like all my electronics in here I need to go put this upstairs and then I was just organizing all this I got this from Target a while back and then I kept it in the trunk of my car and I never took it out and then I remembered that I had it. So this is by the brand Day Designer. I love their stuff with Target. I also liked how this is a clipboard so I could put any recent notes or anything that I needed to like remind myself. And then in here it's just basically paper, anything I can put down for like design ideas, um, YouTube ideas, just like really anything. I can do like a to-do list, the day ideas, notes for the day, YouTube stuff, work stuff all that and then in here here's basically a bunch of secret projects that I cannot wait to show you guys that I just organized it feels good I don't have an office anymore in-house so I've been trying to find a place to put all that stuff so I'm excited about that I need to bring this jacket upstairs what do you call these like fabric scissors there's a few pair of pants that I want to cut shorter 
So I got these at Michael's. I didn't know scissors could be so pricey, but these are like literally so sharp. I'm just gonna set them here and then bring this with me. Tonight is the final four games. There's one at five and then one at seven, I think, for March Madness. I'm not like a huge March Madness fan, but have been keeping up with it. We have friends coming over, so I'm just trying to get the house kind of picked up. I lit this candle and it smells insane. From the brand Jenny Kane and it's the scent Cedar. And I've had it lit for a while once we got home from our walk. She's still like breathing so hard. Do you need some water, love? Some water over there. You good? Okay, just ran a public super quick. I wanted to get a few things and then I also got some stuff this morning at the Italian deli or this afternoon when I went and got a sandwich. It's one of my favorite places in Nashville. It's called Little Hats and I got some fresh deli salami to make a little cheese board. I got some garlic stuffed olives, artichokes. These are so freaking good. And then these are some of my favorite pickles. The tiny little baby ones that you put on a cheese board and i still have a bunch of cheese in the fridge so i didn't need to get any of that but i did get this light spread cheese from publix i got some strawberries limes these are some of my favorite crackers whenever i do a cheese board i know they're not the typical this i would say is a pretty typical cracker and i love these long ones they're really crunchy and like good but i love a trisket these are so good with this it sounds like it would be such a strange combo but trust me so good and then these fire roast jalapeno stacy's pita chips are good with like any type of white cheese so we're just going to do a little mini cheese board i also made some homemade ranch and i have celery and carrots in the fridge and i thought we could do cucumber there's only two friends coming over leslie and kendall also got these flowers but we only have two friends coming over so it's not like i need to put out a bunch of stuff and honestly i don't even probably need to put out anything but Dylan and I are such snack eaters when we're watching like games and stuff that I thought it would be fun just to have some snacks out in case anyone wants one. We don't plan on doing dinner. I think that Dylan's going to pick up some wings. Um, but other than that... Okay, I just got out of the shower. I'm putting on, I think I'm just gonna put on a sweat set because I wore my hat, my hat, my hair in a hat today because I crimped my hair and I don't really love what it looks like. So I wore a hat this morning and now I have hat hair. So I feel like all I can do is a ponytail. And I don't have intentions on going out. Like I'm literally gonna put on a sweat set. I don't know what Leslie's gonna wear over here. She's probably gonna be like all dressed cute and stuff. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. But I'm gonna put on a sweat set because I don't have any intentions on going out. <laughs> if I end up out tonight, just know that that's not the plan. We could possibly end up on Broadway, for all I know. Dylan's still not home from work. They had like a clinic today at work, so it's like late for him. And Leslie's boyfriend also works with Dylan, so he's not home either. So just running a little behind. Right now my skin is fine. It's not good, but it's definitely not terrible. I'm having breakouts on my forehead currently, which is off for me because normally my breakouts are like on my jawline because I'm pretty sure my acne that I deal with is hormonal. And I get so many questions about coming off the pill. And I've like debated back and forth because the reason I don't really share about it is because I know everyone's different and everyone's body reacts different. So I don't want to give advice and then someone one of you guys watching takes it and runs with it or like doesn't have a doctor or a sister or a mom to like go and talk to or talk it through and so you're just listening to me and I don't want you guys to think that my advice is like end all be all so I never really share about it but I guess I can just like answer a few basic questions that I get like off the top of my head um, I've been off of the pill since the wedding so it's been about nine ten months now and it's definitely been a rough journey. Um, if I in high school would have known what's, what would happen to me post birth control pill, I took like the oral pill every day. I didn't have anything like in my arm or anything. Um, 
I was on it from junior year of high school until just now. So I was on it for like six, seven years, really long time. And Dylan and I are not currently trying to have babies or kids, but I just wanted to get my body off of it just because, and again, this is personal reasons. I'm not gonna go into depth about like exactly why I wanted to get off of it. Everyone has their own opinion, but basically I wanted to get off of it. Um, and some issues that I've had since getting off of it um, definitely would be my weight. I've dealt with like weight loss, weight gain, like it's fluctuated. Um, it's really messed with my like mood and emotions a lot. Right off the pill, I noticed it a ton. I was not feeling myself. I feel like just now recently, I'm starting to feel like totally back myself. I look back at like wedding photos of myself and I think like, oh, that person is like so different. And I really do think that has to do with the pill. Um, like, yeah, I look different. Everyone looks different. Everyone's gonna change how they look. That's just life. I And I just happen to like document my life on the internet. So you guys are more aware of when my body and like features of my body change. But like with birth control, I would definitely say like weight has been a problem. Not keeping weight on, like healthy muscle weight. Um, emotion, skin, and I think that that's really it. Those are the top three that really, I guess, would like bother me or that like I remember right off the bat. It's not the worst thing, it's not the best thing, but everyone's different. Like I know some people who get off of it and they don't even realize or like know that anything's different, so. But again, that's just my like personal take on it. You can like take the advice or leave it if you're someone who has been asking me about it and you're asking due to like hormonal acne, definitely go to a dermatologist. There's a ton of skin options like estheticians, dietitians, what do you call it, like home remedy things. The only thing that I think that has actually gotten my acne under control a little bit would be a dermatologist and like actual prescription medicine. So anyways, that's that about birth control. I don't, I don't wanna say that I wish I never took it but the side effects, I wish that I would have been informed about because that's just something that I didn't know. So make sure you're informed, ask your doctor questions. Whenever you're at a doctor and they're like, is there any other questions? Ask all the questions. No question is a dumb question. I, the older I get, I've realized, I feel like I stand up for myself more than I used to. I used to let people walk on me and I think that that just has to do with one, being a female and two, being young. But the older I get, I feel like I stand up for myself more and I'm like proud of that. And so I've started like speaking up more. I used to think that, oh, that's a dumb question I'm not gonna ask. And I would just like think it in my head, but I'm like, they're there for a reason. That's their job. My job isn't to be a doctor. So why would I know these questions, you know, or answers? So ask the questions to people like, <laughs> What are you doing? Like even the other day I was doing my taxes with my accountant and I was like so confused about some things. And then I was like, you know what? You probably think I'm the dumbest person alive, but here's all my questions I need to ask. And he was like, no, I'm glad you asked. Like, I'm glad we talked about it because in the long run it ended up helping me and I saved more money in my taxes, whatever. So speak up for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, because no question is a dumb question in my opinion. But. Anyways, I was, gonna, I was gonna do light makeup and now I'm doing like a full face of like bronzer and stuff, but it's fine. I put the hat back on, I did like my hair up, but um, cute sweat set. I just got in from Daily Drills. They sent this over and I'm obsessed with their stuff. If you guys haven't checked out Daily Drills, you should. I love this new little color for spring, really comfy. And then the sports bra, actually, or not the sports bra, I'm like not okay today. The, the sweatshirt actually turns inside out and it's like this terry cloth, which I think is super cute. And I love the fit of the joggers. Rue follows me everywhere. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. This is a little fit. If we end up going out, I'm obviously gonna change. I would never wear this out, but just like to be at home, I wanted to be comfy. I'm gonna start making a little cheese board, but look at how cute this cheese board is we got it as a wedding gift and it has a little spot to do like the cheese and the cheese cutting and then little sides and crackers and meat and then there's also this little pull out that has like knives and things like that board is all done i have veggies out i need to take the ranch out of the fridge i haven't done that yet but look at how cute this is i just put a little bit of meat and cheese because there's only four of us and we're probably not gonna eat all this because 
We also ordered some wings from Martin's, but I have a little drink situation over here. I'm gonna go turn the game on. Rue, I knew you were hacking up something. You threw up right there. <gasps> Where did you find this? Rue ate the shampoo, which is not mine. I swear to God, these builders next door put stuff in the yard. I was wondering what she was eating in the yard and I think it's this and she brought it inside threw up on the rug and has been like hacking for the past 20 minutes. I thought something was stuck in her throat. Are you okay, love? Let's go outside. Come on. Where did this come from? This is not good. You can't do that. Come on, Winnie. Let's go. Outside, Winnie. Oh, so you freeze it here, right here. guys it is the next day i've had a slow morning dylan had to go into work um just for a little bit and i'm doing some like fun work just some planning for outfits i'm trying to finalize like coachella outfits i worked with stephanie who is the owner ceo of lily class which is one of my favorite jewelry brands she does those hoop earrings that i always link off of revolve she has really really good jewelry i can link her website below but she lives here in nashville she's like half in um laguna beach half in nashville and she's currently in nashville right now she's like the sweetest little family i need to restart my computer i don't know why it's not working she's helping me with some coachella outfits i had like outlines of how i like things that i wanted to wear if i'm saying my honest opinion about coachella I feel like I don't love it. I am the type of person that goes for the outfits. Um, and that's like fine, like I'll be the first one to admit it. I don't go for the music unless it's a performer I really love. And Coachella's lineup this year isn't something that I'm super interested in, but I'm going with Revolve and I'm bringing Lily and we're gonna do Revolve Festival. We're gonna go to Revolve Festival. Um, and I'm excited for that because they're having some special performers and last year they had Post Malone and Jack Harlow and it was really, really fun. We had the best time and so I'm excited for that. So I'm flying into Arizona um, on Wednesday, the week before Coachella, I'm staying with Lily for the night and then I have my friend's bachelorette trip, which is in Scottsdale and I'm kind of splitting up the weekend. So I'm doing like half her bachelorette trip and then Lily and I are driving into Palm Springs and I'm gonna be there Saturday and Sunday for Revolve Festival and I'm very excited. I think it'll be fun. I'm excited to like show you guys my outfits and stuff. Um, I think that they're gonna be really good this year and I, I loved my outfits last year. I just think it's fun and I've been seeing a lot of like Coachella trend stuff and I'm trying to like pick the perfect outfit. And when I sat down with Stephanie, she was like, think about things that you actually wanna wear and what you feel confident in. It's like, don't go with just the trends, like just go with what you think is fun and your style and do like a little twist off of it. I love the way that she like, describes fashion and style she's really like a creative genius when it comes to that she styles all of her shoots for lily clasp and i'm just obsessed with the way that she styles stuff so i'm so thankful that she's helping me we kind of work together i pitched her some of my ideas she pitched some of hers and we kind of made some outfits so i ordered a bunch of the stuff that i want to go through and just like make sure i have everything i need to get bachelorette outfits and then I kind of wanted to start shopping for Europe. I've never been to Europe and I think it's gonna be so fun, especially with Aaron and Emily and Matt. They just are three people that make me laugh so hard and I just have always the best time with them. So I'm really excited about that trip. And then I have another fun trip right after I get home from Europe, but I want to keep that one like a secret because it's super fun and it's with a bunch of other like influencing gals. So I'm very excited for summer travel and I just want to be ahead because I have a lot of weddings this summer, work, I've been working on secret project that is taking up a lot of my time and so I just like on the weekends I like to get ahead with YouTube. I'm gonna order a few things like I want to get a few camera things from Amazon. I just want to be prepared and I don't want to be struggling the week of Coachella with like getting my hair done, my toes done, my nails done, all that stuff, but then also trying to like worry about outfits. I just wanna get that out of the way. And some of you guys watching this probably think that I'm being dramatic about it, but it's like such a thing. I feel like with girls, um, especially like festival season, the outfits and stuff are like the fun part, at least to me. So I'm excited. I think that my looks are very me, but a little elevated and I'm excited for you guys to see them um, and share them with you all. Dylan and I have a fun little date night at Hall's Steakhouse tonight. Hall's Chop House, I don't know exactly what it's called. He's been several times like with recruits for football and I've never been. And I heard that it's like some of the best steak here in Nashville. So we're really excited to go little Sunday date night. So I just took a shower. I'm gonna like blow out my hair and curl it and stuff and I'm letting it air dry for the most part. 
while I sit and do this and then we're gonna get ready. We're doing an early dinner. I think that the reservation is at six because I wanna be in bed early tonight. I wanna get like an early start to the week because I have an early morning workout tomorrow. I'm ahead of the game and I got my Easter stuff. I just went and got it out of the car. We're having Dylan's family here for Easter. So I went and got that stuff done, cleaned up the kitchen. The dogs are playing slash fighting. And then I wanted to show you guys how cute. Some of our friends stayed at our house for a few days over the weekend, a few weekends back, and they brought us these little, like, thank you for hosting us gifts. Look at these little bunnies. So I have them up here just like for Easter. And then when we eat Easter lunch or dinner, I'll probably put them out on the table. They're cute. I was gonna put them over here, but I don't know. I kind of just set them up there and they were cute. But I've been in a cleaning spree. It's 2.14. I just put away some laundry. I have like another load going. Dylan ran to the store because we're gonna plant some flowers and some vases or some pots on the front steps right here. I wanna do like fresh flowers on the steps when you walk up. But anyways, I also just curled my hair. I haven't styled it or like brushed it out. I just am letting it dry. I was putting away some laundry and I always clean the sheets on Sunday. So I had those going in the wash. I also just ordered some more organization stuff for my closet on Amazon and some organization stuff for the pantry. So that'll be in next vlog. You guys see I have so many vlogs coming. I've been filming a lot. I've just been not on my editing game like I mentioned to you guys. We're slowly but surely getting back to it. So I just wanted to update. It's been a little bit. Ran to the store and I'm like inside doing stuff. I feel like when Dylan's home and it's a nice day out, on Sundays we're always both super productive. I also finally unpacked my bag from LA. It was not unpacked. I finally did that so I need to bring that downstairs. That needs to go. I need to clean up the top of this. A lot of this stuff needs to get altered. Like these pants need to be hemmed. These need to be hemmed. These have to be hemmed for Coachella and I hope that there's enough time. Let me shut these. I also got some random PR things. Look at this cute little metallic bag. It's from the brand Eight Other Reasons. I love the shape of it. It has gold hardware. I thought that was cute. It's like a little mini bag. And then the brand Lou Goldie has sunglasses. And look at how cute these are. This black pair, which this black pair reminds me of the YSL pair that Rue, <laughs> that Rue ate of mine. Um, this pair is really good. A little brown with the yellow lens. I've been seeing yellow lens everywhere. I think that they're gonna be in for spring. Cute. <laughs> Not everyone's style, but I wanted to share these with you guys because I have that YSL pair that are always sold out. And so I wanted to tell you about these ones if you were interested in a gold or a yellowy lens. The brand is Lou Goldie, L-U-G-O-L-D-I-E. So thank you for sending those over. I'm always like pushing off taking things to the alterations and I need to be better at it because I have so many pairs of pants that I love and then they just sit. Like these Halsa pants, I'm obsessed with these. I love them for summer, but they are so long and I'm tall. And so I'm like, why are these so long? This is reality, it's always like this. And it's because I just got back from a trip or if I have laundry, I always put everything here and it bothers me that I do this. Like this needs to be hung up. Um. These hats, I just actually on Amazon ordered a hat organizer, so I'm excited about that because I have so many. Um, these are new, I need to hang these. They're like this thermal collection from Elwood. They sent them over, really cute. Um, here's more pants. These also both need to be hemmed. Um, these need to be hemmed. This is another pair of Helsa like cargo pants that also need to be hemmed. Stuff everywhere. I need to minimalize my life, but I feel like I get rid of so many things and then things just keep piling up and I'm thankful for everything that I get. But sometimes I'm like, Rachel, you gotta figure it out. This is my shoe situation. My closet is clean. Like I've kept up with my closet, organized, like love it, but the shoe situation is a mess. So I also just ordered something. I'm, if you guys remember when Aaron and I tried to put together that um, <laughs> shoe organizer, it was a mess. It was so many pieces. So I just got a different one. So I'm hoping 
that when that comes, it's easier to put together. gonna have a pre-dinner drink and I saved the champagne bottle from last night because I didn't go through a whole bottle in one night and Lily got me this I know Lily got me this for Christmas and it saves your champagne I can link a similar one I think she got off Amazon why am I scared to open it can you do it how do I do it like it flips up I know some people say you can put um, a spoon in the top and it keeps it fresh, but honestly, I find like this keeps it a fresh. Spoon? Yeah, they say a metal spoon. If you put like the stick of the spoon in. Really? Isn't that cool? I'm just gonna do it today. And then let me put you guys on the best trick. I do champagne, I skip the soda water, and then I'll do splash Aperol. I like light Aperol because it can be pretty bitter tasting. So I like when it's more part champagne and then I always, not always, I recently started adding some lime instead of orange and it is so good. It's like really refreshing. So if you guys don't like spritz, you change the game. Try it this way. Yeah, I changed the game. Revolutionize the game. It's so good. And then you stir it with a knife. I'm gonna say my USA card. Show you guys my outfit too. All from Zara, these pants I'm obsessed with because they remind me of the citizen of humanity, like horse, horse shoe bend jeans. Like they go out more on your legs. I think it's just like flattering on your body. It's like a nice oversized look, but still gives you shape. And then this belt off revolve. It's from the brand below the belt. I really love this belt worth the money and such a good closet staple. I'll link it. And then this is just a little over shirt from Zara as well. I can try to link the Zara pieces and I just have the sleeves really rolled up and I buttoned it all the way up the neck. And then I just have um, silver jewelry hair down. I actually use my um, wedding foundation that I um, used for the wedding. It's the Giorgio Armani. It was a little too dark so I mixed it with some moisturizer and it like lightened it up a little bit and I really like what it did to my skin. I need to start using that more. I need to get my actual shade. You use your moisturizer from the wedding? <laughs> no, my foundation. Do you think that my skin looks good? Yeah, it looks great. Thank you. And then I'm using this by far belt or bag by far bag that has silver to match the earrings and the belt. And then just my black boots that I wear all the time. These are so good. I'm obsessed with them. They're from the brand Simon Miller. Just got back from Hall's. Hall's Chop House. We had to go because we ordered so much food. I am such a steak gal, like I love steak. And I feel like I can tell a good steak versus a not good steak. And I would say that Hall's might be, might be, would you say Hall's is the best steak you've had? Ever. Ever. No. What do you think ever? Um. Cause I thought, I was gonna say ever. Like, I don't know, it was pretty good. 
Like, try to think of something better. I, just, I like the Angus barn better, the experience. Really? Yeah. You like it because it's like country. No, the Angus barn is cool. I don't think that Angus barn's food is that great. It's not, but the whole experience makes it the best. Okay, but I'm talking about the food. Like, I'm not talking about experience. Well, I need to go back. To if Halls? It, when we started going to Angus barn, that was the only steakhouse we ever went to. Yeah, you're right. In Raleigh, there was a place yeah, called Angus go Barn. I got the filet. We got shrimp cocktail. I didn't really film in there because I didn't want to like keep pulling my phone out at dinner. I'm trying to be better at when I'm sitting down and eating not to be on my phone, especially when I'm with Dylan, like being more present and not being on my phone. So, Ruru, what were you doing while we were gone? Were you being a good dog? <laughs> She's like... Um, but yeah, dinner was so good. I had a few drinks and now we're home. Dylan and I are going to watch a movie on Netflix. But I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. A little weekend vlog. I was going to bring it in till um, tomorrow. But I think I might do a week in my life this week. Because Aaron's coming on Thursday. It's Easter um, weekend. Ooh, you're so thirsty. That's what's up. If you guys are not already, don't forget to subscribe. So you don't miss any exciting videos coming up. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up. And I really want to get around to filming a house tour because the house is all done. So I might have Aaron help me with that this weekend. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.